You know, I'm not going to talk about all the endorsements that we have, but I do want to say that we have created uh, some leadership in District 2 with our young people. We have lots of young people walking precincts. Tomorrow we've got close to 30 kids showing up. And every Saturday we've had kids showing up, along with people from labor, along with people from the Democratic Party. We have people who are disabled who are making phone calls on our behalf. And we, we're proud to say that the United Food and Commercial Workers Union uh, on Mission Boulevard is allowing us to use their space. We have our headquarters at the B Street Democratic Headquarters because we got that endorsement. We are also going to be working on the Ohlone United Democratic Campaign in Newark because we got that endorsement. Those are important. Why are they important? Because it's the very reason why we're here tonight. We want your endorsement. And if it didn't mean anything, I wouldn't be here. It means a lot to me because it's a reflection of who we all are. And so it means a great deal to our campaign to be out leading young people because we have to cultivate leadership. And a big part of that is getting them involved in the political process and not to fear it and to understand it. So, Margaret, my hat's off to you for bringing your children. Thank you. Th these are the future leaders of our community and we need to cultivate those relationships. So, philosophically, District 2 has embarked on that uh, playing field and we're having great success. I had the great honor of delivering a speech at Chabot College last week on democracy and law. And that was a great opportunity for us to bring the Logan High School Drama Club to do something on the states that talked about the debates that are going on in Washington, the debates that are going on here in Alameda County, and we talked about all of the different ways that people are going to be in, engaging in politics and engaging in their future. All of those kids were under 18 years old, and they, they can't vote. But they were excited about the opportunity to be on stage, but we also engaged them in political dialogue. And dialogue is a key, and that's what District 2 is all about right now. We are building coalitions, and we are building collaborations for the Tennis and Corridor Initiative. We're building collaborations with the Masons of California for providing jobs to youth in this area. We are building coalitions with the building trades to build a vocational training center. Those are real things that are happening right now, and we've been on the job for three months. And we look forward to your um, process, and we respect your process, and I'm very, very humbled to be here tonight. Thank you. Three minutes, I could talk to you all night. All I can tell you we got is... The baseball <laughs> all I can tell you is vote for me, because I'm the guy that's going to get in there and make these politicians bring these tax dollars where they belong. I support education 100%. I'd like to know, where is the lottery money? I would like to know, why are there education cuts when the people of California in 1980 voted a lottery? 50% was supposed to go to education. What do they get? Ten percent? This is all wrong. We need to get some audits done. We need to get these tax dollars back to our schools, to our businesses, and we need to get these kids in programs, keep them occupied. The future is our children. Uh, I'm active involved in coaching Little League. I used to coach wrestling, but as I got hurt, I couldn't do that anymore. Uh, my whole life I've been working with the youth, and I'll tell you, they've got a hard ladder to climb because every year they keep taking money from education. We need to put a stop to it. We need to get out there, get these dollars put into the schools. We need to get our youth and programs after school so they don't get involved in these gangs. Let me tell you something, District 2 is so flooded with gang violence. Right where we sit tonight, there's gang neighborhood. There's gang graffiti. I have programs to get these kids out there cleaning up graffiti, cleaning up your community. I still have my bus license from the Sheriff's Department Hall of Inmates. I have no problem building a bus and taking people to filthy neighborhoods and cleaning them up. Please vote for me. Thank you.
Thank you, and uh, thank you, Hayward Demos, for organizing this great uh, candidate forum. Um, honored to be part of this uh, very distinguished group tonight. I want to just close by saying that um, you know I've been in public service for 20 years, and as your state elected representative for the past six years, I think I've been an effective leader, and I've been I've been representing the district very well at the state level. And you know, as we implement uh, the Obama health care here in Alameda County and in the state, I think I'm the most qualified and well-positioned candidate to get this Alameda County fair share uh, for our district. And District 2 has the highest uninsured population in Alameda County. And here in, in Hayward, we suffer from the highest rates of obesity. And so we have a lot of work to do. And one of the things, one of the exciting things that I got to participate earlier this year was to travel to Washington, D.C. with the assembly delegation and uh, to lobby our uh, leaders in Congress. And, you know, there's so much support for us. There's a lot of resources coming to the state to implement the health care reform. And I think that I could do a great job for you here, uh, bringing our fair share to Alameda County and being an effective uh, representative and advocate on your behalf. My work in the legislature has earned me Legislator of the Year by the American Red Cross, California Medical Association, Planned Parenthood of California honored me with Distinguished uh, Statewide Advocacy Award. I, uh, I have been a co-author of uh, Mark Leno's uh, single-payer legislation at the state level. Uh, I have received 100% rating from Equality California, Sierra Club, and uh, CLCV, the California Co uh, League of Conservation Voters. Uh, I think I have earned uh, the respect in Sacramento and here in the district, and it would be an honor to earn your vote tonight. So thank you very much.